Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So usually, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, but I could not find a sweet Standard Deck for this week, so I figured we'd use our Tuesday slot this week to do our weekly Pauper Deck Tech, preparing for the Pauper events coming up at GPs in January. And then we will have Wildcard Wednesday tomorrow to talk about a non-pauper format. So anyway, if you like tribal decks, you're going to like today's deck. We are looking at green-white slivers for pauper. Comes to us from Alpha Moyer, who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive pauper league on Magic Online. So congrats to Alpha Moyer on a super sweet finish. I should say, though, green-white slivers, kind of a deck. There were several finishes with green-white slivers in different pauper events. So as you can see... 32 bucks, 15 ticks, so a super cheap starter deck, even by pauper standards, because you're playing green-white, you don't need dazes and some of the expensive blue cards, so anyway, a quick reminder before we break down green-white slivers for pauper. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So when we talk about trying tribal decks. We talk about competitive advantages. What does this tribe do better than anything else? And the answer for Slivers is really straightforward. Especially in Pauper, Slivers is the best lore deck. If you think about Merfolk in Modern, that is basically what Slivers are in Pauper. You get a massive 12 Two mana lords, muscle sliver, predatory sliver, sinew sliver, all essentially the same card. Give all of your slivers plus one, plus one, which means even though they're one ones, they actually give themselves plus one, plus one. So as long as they're on the battlefield, which they have to be for their ability to be working, they're actually two, two. So basically, we just have a million Lord of Atlantises if we want to stick with the Merfolk example. So that's what our deck wants to do. We want to curve out and just play a lord, play a lord, play a lord. Pretty soon, all of our slivers are like five, five, six, sixes, and we are just smashing through our opponent's defenses and closing out the game with a board full of super massive slivers. So beyond just a million lords, what other slivers do we have to fill out the curve? And we have a bunch of slivers that help us win in combat. And these are also slivers that just help us fill out the curve. We want to be going one drop into a two drop lord, hopefully into more lords and more lords and more lords. So plated sliver, sidewinder sliver, come down on turn one, and they just make our deck a little bit better at bashing through opposing creatures. Plated sliver, a one one for one will be a 2-2 two, two, thanks to our lords, and then actually a 2-3 thanks to its ability to give all slivers plus zero plus one. So it's actually a 1-2, a squire sliver, that also pumps the toughness on all of our slivers, which means we're a little less likely to get blown out by Evancar's Justice, for example, or some of the weird sweepers that show up in the pauper format. Sidewinder sliver just makes it really difficult for our opponent to block, since if our opponent blocks, we give the blocking creature negative one, negative one, and then Talon sliver gives all of our slivers first strike. Then we have some defensive slivers. Sentinel sliver lets us play offense defense, so we attack with all of our slivers. They're still back on defense, so we don't get killed by that Grimag Angler or whatever our opponent has. Spinneret Sliver gives us a way to block Delver of Secrets, uh, the various flying creatures, Battle Screech tokens that show up in the format, that show up in the Puffer format. So kind of a hedge for those matchups. We got more in the sideboard. Virulent Sliver, really weird. It's mostly just another one-drop Sliver, although we can poison our opponent out. I figure for hitting our opponent with 10 Slivers, we've likely killed our opponent anyway, but in theory, if our opponent can gain a bunch of life, this gives us another way to win that doesn't care about life gain. We just poison our opponent with infect damage one at a time with Virulent Sliver. As far as our utility cards, the non-sliver cards, and I should say we have 29 slivers in the deck, so we only have a few slots for utility cards. We start off with Lead the Stampede, which is just a ton of card advantage. With 29 creatures, Lead the Stampede should be getting us somewhere between two and three slivers when we cast it. Of course, we get lucky and get like four or five, which is absurd, but even just getting two or three more slivers for three mana, Really good deal. Card advantage, fight through counter spells, removal spells, and so forth. Make sure that the sliver train keeps running. Then we have some pump spells to kind of mess with combat, force through more damage. We can use these to 
throw at blocked creatures to kill our opponent's creatures, like removal spells. We can also throw them at unblocked creatures to force through more damage. Mutagenic growth, only plus two, plus two, but it's free. We can use our Phyrexian mana or life total to pay for it. Vines of the Vastwood not only is plus four, plus four, but also lets us fizzle removal spell thanks to the Hexproof. Finally, a couple of epic confrontations, which works like a sorcery speed pump spell and also a removal spell. If we have a huge sliver thanks to all of our lords, we can just fight our opponent's thing, get rid of our opponent's best creature, keep Keep attacking, closing out the game quickly. Mana base, really simple. Four Blossoming Sands, two Evolving Wilds, a bunch of basic lands, less dual lands than you'll see in some popper decks. That's because we really value having our lands come into play untapped, so we're willing to give up a little consistency in the form of more dual lands for the upside of having untapped lands, so we can curve out one drop, two drop, another one drop, more two drops, lords, 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 close out the game. In the sideboard, we got a ton of ways to protect our slivers. Prismatic Strands, Fizzles, all the damage of sources of the color of our choice until end of turn. So this can mess with opposing creatures, can stop a Evans card justice, sweepers that would blow up our board, and then we can even flash it back by tapping a white creature, which is pretty easy for us to do. We have a lot of white creatures. Standard bear just eats a removal spell instead of our sliver. If our opponent wants to use target removal like lightning bolts to kill our lords, they first have to kill the standard bears, so they need two lightning bolts. It's kind of like the spell sky of Popper almost. And then hollows, another way we can prevent damage and gain a bit of life. Quick Sliver and Spinneret Sliver are slivers that help in certain matchups. Quick Sliver lets us play around counters. We flash it in, then all of our slivers have flash, so we can cast our slivers at inconvenient times, sneak them through counter spells. Spinneret Sliver, again, for Delvers and Battle Screech tokens. All the flyers in the format gives us a way to block all those. Ray of Revelation to deal with enchantments. I assume, like, Pestilence is probably a nightmare for this deck, so a good way to kill it. Armadillo Cloak, Pulse and Miraza give us a way to gain a bit of life, and that is green white slivers for popper and that's where it's a deck tech for today so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here